Just like hepatitis A, hepatitis B is a viral infection that targets the liver. But in this case, it leads to a chronic liver condition. And individuals can catch hepatitis B either directly from somebody who already has hepatitis B by coming in contact with their bodily fluids, or indirectly by coming in contact with their bodily fluids without even interacting with the individual, such as being exposed to someone's blood. However, luckily for us, there is also a vaccine available for hepatitis B. And today I wanna to break down how that vaccine is made. So hepatitis B relies on this outer surface protein, and that outer surface protein can build up during that chronic liver condition. So researchers have taken advantage of that information and isolated out the DNA or genetic material or blueprints that actually give the instructions on how that outer surface protein is made. Then that genetic material has actually been spliced into yeast. This allows for yeast to continue to replicate inside of the lab. And since they now contain that genetic material and the instructions on how to make the hepatitis B virus outer surface protein, they too begin to make that protein. That protein can then be isolated and collected and then administered as a vaccine. Therefore, an individual's immune system now is able to create antibodies against this outer surface protein because it doesn't belong. So if an individual comes in contact with the hepatitis B virus in the future, then their immune system will be able to fight it off before it has a chance to lead to that chronic liver condition. Now, hepatitis B is typically given anywhere from two to four doses, and this is age dependent. So when one is young, they usually have about a two dose series, but it's really important as individuals age, such as over the age of 60, to begin getting a booster dose. 